Hello everyone, welcome again. Good morning. If my previous lectures video you haven't seen, then top side I button is given on clicking I button. You can check some previous lectures video because that where three question number three, four and five and on that video you can see you can get some previous lectures and for upcoming questions stay connected with us and I Tushar Joshi welcomes all of you behalf of Omkar English Medium School and this is Joshi's online study hub NCRT standard number standard 10th and chapter number 13th today we are going to learn its introduction part I have completed and up to question number 5th I have completed and today I have to teach you question number 6 and 7 then you all are heartily welcome again see here this is the question number 6 as here you can see the medicine capsule okay you all people are familiar with this kind of shape okay because this is the almost you can consider the routine part of one people's life so this have you ever considered the shape of medi uh, this kind of medicine uh, miss uh, capsule and all and the what is the area of this capsule and all okay so this is the really very much practical question as here you can see the medicine capsule is in the shape of cylinder whose two hemisphere are st hemispherical shape stuck to the each other end so here you can see this is the hemispherical shape okay so this is the hemisphere okay this is the hemisphere this is the hemisphere okay so if you uh, match this both hemisphere so one spherical shape will form actually i'm not good at drawing but then also i will try to explain you okay this is actually not hemisphere but you can consider this is hemisphere so if this two portions if you will match okay if you will first of all if you will cut and if you will join then a spherical shape will form okay so this is the almost to have a hemispherical shape and this is the remaining part okay here is blue portion which you can see that is the remaining part okay then now here as you can see in question in figure 14 centimeter 14 millimeter okay 14 millimeter is the total length and 5 millimeter is the diameter okay this is the diameter so 5 millimeter that is the diameter then radius we have to consider okay uh, then what we will do first will this is hemisphere and this is hemisphere so two hemisphere we will find so uh, two hemisphere we will join so one sphere will form okay one sphere will form and we will find the area of sphere and then we will uh, that is the our first portion okay first part and then we will find the area of rectangle now see this is the this part okay see this part this is what which kind of part is there this is the rectangle okay so in two portion we will solve first of all area of sphere for area what we need formula obviously okay then area of sphere area of sphere that is 4 pi r square now uh, you must know all the formulas okay which is in nine standard actually so if you haven't seen then you should refer that textbooks so 4 pi r square because here we have to find area surface area so if volume is given then 4 by 3 pi r cube you should remember then 4 pi r square now here 5.5 .5 is the diameter then radius here radius is equal to what 5 half is 2.5 okay 2.5 millimeter okay then 4 into 22 by 7 into radius square so 25 by 10 and again 25 by 10 okay so uh, 25 for the 100 and this okay 25 for the so 100 and this 100 will cut then this okay this both things are cut and now 22 into 25 then 25 to the 50 and one more zero plus again 
fifty. So five fifty upon seven. So what will come five fifty by seven? This is the area of sphere. Right now we will not find its answer in decimal point. Afterward it's required. Suppose then we will do something. But here right now as it is five fifty upon seven. And now area of now rectangle. Okay, area of rectangle as you all know that is L into B. What is L now? So uh, this is the radius. Okay, this is the radius. So here also let me show you by some another color. Okay, by black color let me show you. This is the radius. Okay, five. So radius is all. Uh, radius is same at all place. Okay, so this is also radius five centimeter. Okay, then. Actually, from this side, five centimeter, sorry, millimeter, five millimeter part, uh, we have deduct as well as here left side. Okay, five millimeter part we have deduct. So five plus five, ten millimeter is deduct. So out of fourteen, if ten millimeter is deduct, then four millimeter will remain. So the length, okay, this length L is equal to ten millimeter. Okay, sorry, four millimeter. Okay, because ten is removed. So 4 millimeter and width is 5 millimeter then lb is equal to 4 into 5 so 5 for the 20 millimeter okay and now now it's required to find 550 by 7 then very simple uh, division is there so that you people have to do so if you will divide 550 550 by 7 if you will do so 78.57 will come Okay, so 78.57 and if you will add because here we have to find now its surface area means total surface area then total area then total area is equal to 78 plus 20 then 98.57 centimeter square. Okay, this is the answer. This is the answer of six question and now we will go towards this question number seven. A tent in a shape of cylinder surmounted by a conical top. So here this is the figure as you can see. This is the cylinder and the surmounted uh, surmounted cap. Okay. You can consider tent. Okay. This is the tent. If the height and diameter of the cylindrical part are 2.1 and 4 respectively. Means height of cylinder is 2.1 and uh, diameter is 4. So height is 2.1 up to here okay this is the 2.1 and 4 meter this all in meter uh, unit you must have to write uh, this is 4 okay so radius is 2 so this radius is 2 meter so actually this total is 4 meter okay so 2.1 meter is the length and uh, 4 meter is the width actually this is uh, from seeing you can not say this is actually that much but now let me show you because this is 2.1 this is for so height actually I should height actually I should decrease okay it is like this now it's practical so practically you can see yes it is 2.1 and this is 4 then Actually, we should not focus on this kind of all things. Just for we should focus on concept only. But then also, uh, I just want to make it some little bit practical. <clears throat> okay, so now <clears throat> uh, for two point one and for respect to and the slant height of the to top is two point eight meter. Slant height is two point eight. See, yes, slant height is two point eight. So this is two. This is two point eight. Find the area of the canvas used to uh, use for making the tent means first we have to find the area okay find the area of the canvas means full tents area we have to find and its cost afterward we have to find not that the base of the tent will not be covered with the canvas see this is the good thing about uh, uh, NCRT of 10 standard because if you refer NCRT of the 9 standard okay so they haven't clarify any kind of this kind of thing in 9 standard they haven't uh, clarified but here they have clearly said that uh, it uh, will not be covered okay not the base of the tent means the base you people don't have to cover then 
what we have to find first here uh, first we will find csa okay then csa of cylinder as well as csa of 10 and then afterward we will merge this all of the thing then here csa curve surface area of cylinder see it will come curve surface area only it will not come total surface area because base is not covered and as well as top is also not covered then csa of cylinder is 2 pi r h okay and all data that is written 2 into pi is 22 by 7 radius is given 2 and height is also given 21 by 10 see here this is height given now okay so height is 10 uh, okay if you simplify 7 3 za and uh, 22 to the 44 to the 80 8 into 3 by 10 okay then 8 3 is a 40 uh, 8, 8 3 is a 24 and 2 26 by 10 means 26.4 centi not centi but meter square just meter square will come okay meter square half of the question is complete now now we have to find area of the cone then c s a of cone okay c s a of cone that is pi r l so 22 by 7 into radius that is again radius will remain same only now whether it is uh, cone or whether it is the cylinder radius will not be changed so radius is 2 into slant height is also given 28 by 10 now because this is 2.8 meter given okay here that is given 2.8 meter okay that 2.8 meter then 7 forza and as well as 22 to the 44 otherwise you can consider 22 for the 88 8 8 into 2 by 10 then 8 to the 16 and 17 by 10 then 170 as miss total 17.6 and uh, now total we have to find 26.4 plus then i i will write here total 26.4 as well as 17.6 and 6 plus 4 10 0 1 uh, 7 plus 8 4 1 4 then 44 and total is 44 meter square okay total is 44 meter square now let me write here and now actually uh, uh, 500 rupees per meter square that is the cost okay because this is our first answer see this is our first answer 44 meter square but now total cost we have to find so here meter square and cost okay then per meter square 500 rupees okay cost is in rupees and uh, area is in meter square and per meter square 5 rupees then 44 then how much then 44 into 500 that is simple multiplication and your answer you will get 44 into if you multiply 5 so 22 and one more zero okay then and double two zero means 22 thousand rupees you will get yeah it is very simple now 40 for half is 22 and 30 will come so 22 thousand rupees you have to pay if you want to make you uh, if you want to make this kind of tent so this is the second answer actually this is the seventh answer i should say okay for but for today's video this is the second answer and i hope you all student understood the answer what i explain you and i hope you will connect with me and more and more you will share this video with your friends okay next video we will meet soon thank you